Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, I have been thinking about doing this for a while, basically. Um, I have a lot of games on PS1, PS2, PS3, uh, a few Wii games. <laughs> I have a lot of games that I've never even taken out of plastic, let alone ever played. Uh, and basically I got the idea, okay, you know what, I'm going to sit down for, I don't know, an hour to two hours for these games. I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to take it out of the plastic. I'm going to stick it in the system or load it up on Steam, and I'm going to play it. And, uh, I'm going to play it, and I'm going to give it an hour to two hours to basically impress me. Uh, you know, I've got so many games that... I've never played, and I just keep going back to playing the games that I know I like instead of trying new things. And this is, uh, you know, I started LPing as a way to, to kind of s force myself to play, to branch out a little bit, you know. Still, I m mainly do RPGs, but uh, it kind of, it <laughs> in the end, it didn't work out that way, and I've just basically been doing a lot of games that uh, I'm comfortable with. So... And the hundred knights. So today we're going to try out the Witch and the Hundred Knight. And I plan on maybe doing these. And I've never played this game before. So uh, I just, just now took it out of the plastic. There are 50, 50 different pieces of handy information and ability explanations. Okay. Uh, I've been told that this game is a, tip, a lot are is a lot darker than your s typical Nipponichi fairy. It's it's got more in common with Soul Nomad, whereas it's got humor, but it's really really dark humor and less kind of silliness than Disgaea. Basically, a uh, friend of mine who owns this game, and he's been playing it, he told me he says the best description of this game is Soul Nomad's humor and dialogue and, you know, just general Nippon Ichi style meets Diablo. So, uh, I do have a general idea of how the game plays. I'm not going into it blind. It's not a strategy RPG or anything like that. Yes, I can. So I'm going to give this game the old college try, and uh, we are going to... Okay, my name is... Eh, I'll just put in treble. T. That is the weirdest way I've seen for doing... Uh, capital letters in a game ever. I honestly don't like that. But as long as they don't have me putting, you know, inputting stuff constantly, that's okay. <laughs> I see even something like you as a name. Hmm. You're at least that smart, I guess. Different from the typical familiar. Well, if you weren't, this wouldn't have even gotten to this point. I'm going to give you a better name. I'll name you myself. Listen carefully and burn it into your memory. Your new name is... Ah, uh, I like my name. Get my mouse out of the way where the cursor doesn't appear on screen. You are the hundred knights. That is actually kind of cool. That means your name is hundred knight. Don't ever forget it. If you understand, respond with a yes. Regarding self assertion. Self assertion can be used to convey the hundred knights will. 
affirm, deny, question, and ignore. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Back talk, okay. Okay, I... Oh, I can't tell her no. I'm gonna ignore her. <laughs> Congratulations, you have mastered the art of speaking for yourself. gonna make me affirm you understand your role well. your name is now hundred night don't forget it. yay I'm smarter <laughs> A bit of intelligence is manifested. I'll give you something see I told you I've never played this game before <laughs> what is that a helmet Cool, I have arms now. <laughs> Good job. We're almost done. By the way, that's a special helmet I made just for you. Okay. It'll give you a nice power. And <laughs> so so uh, what I was reading about this game is it is kind of a a uh, whoa, it's cool. You can uh, change your like. There's a class-based system in this game, like based on what equipment you have. It changes you like how you fight and things like that. Okay. Okay, that's basic stuff. Like a good minion. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. You can use your thumbs. Good job. That lizard has a mask on. <laughs> okay, what am I looking for? I wasn't paying attention. I guess we're running away from the lizard? Why did that sound condescending? ever start with like good equipment the hunter knight equips the rubbish sword it feels very special okay Oh, there's nothing there. Darn it. 
well, this is a tutorial area. I, I don't imagine that. I, I am going to the right. Slice and dice. Although I wish I could do more combos. Doesn't seem you can jump or anything like that. Okay. Not much to say about this. It's a the music's good. I always like the music in Nippon Ichi games. Is the voice actor that's doing that voice there? Is that Etna's voice? Let's see. I imagine the switch is back here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Auto marker. Do they really feel like they need to explain switches? I mean, switches are literally some of the most basic devices in the world, so, you know. Mm, okay. Well, let's go through this portal. She's going to be so surprised. What sort of face will she make when she hears that I'm all better and I've come to play? My friend told me this game is actually kind of sad. Like, the story. So, I might pick it up and beat it one day, but... Apparently the lizard is chasing me. Look at this hundred night. You took your sweet time and the rock. Uh oh, it's gonna catch you. You better hurt. Regarding dashing. Hold on the X button. Okay. Dash like crazy, got it. Oh, it, it's just like running in wild arms. That's pretty neat. By pressing the square button, you will attack. If you're equipped... Oh, okay. So you... Uh, that's how you do combos. You equip multiple weapons and... Oh, uh, okay. Lock on. Ow. I don't know, he moves kind of slow when you log on. Okay. One thing I will say about this game, and pretty much just, let's see, where do I go from here? Nope. There we go. Woo! I'm a master at running like this. I've played many Wild Arms games. Oh, it closed. Okay, let's find the switch. Hey, 
Voice acting is, is really good so far. All you can do is run. run, but don't get caught. Okay. Dash, dash, dash. Doom. To the right. Thank you for your kindly directions. Hmm. Tully, that's that. That's running just like in. Wild arms. Throw that switch. Throw the switch. Thank you. Neat. Let's kill these guys. It's neat that it tells you what the... Oh, what's up here? It's neat that it tells you what the uh, elements of the attacks are. So, like, when they get ready to attack, it's saying it's a blunt attack. I wonder what those uh, green orbs are that they're dropping. Money, maybe, of some kind? Maybe they're life refills? Of course, I don't have a life bar right now, so... Who knows? Probably not important. There's a lizard again. He's gonna catch you. And look over there. Take my sword. I wonder if you could hit enemies multiple times and like like if you juggle them or something you get extra stuff. Well, if you quit stopping me to speak, I could get away. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Wow, her voice is really, really low. Lizard again. This is a very interesting tutorial, I think. And running in this game is actually pretty fun. I like the way he controls. He's got kind of a ninja run thing going on, but not really because that's how he actually just holds his arms. <laughs> Pumpkins! What is that? Uh, okay. Maybe that was like secretly a wicker man and that guy was like Nick Cage or something. Ooh, that blur is hurting my eyes. Probably wouldn't hurt my eyes so much if I were playing on a, a HD capture device, but I don't have a way to capture high def for my PS3, so, you know, I don't.
Yeah, I was reading on the back uh, that the levels in this game are randomly generated, and you can find NPCs who will uh, give you quests and things like that. And if you don't want to do quests, you can just murder them. Okay. What have you got to say, lady? An alcoholic. <laughs> Thank you. Do I gotta talk to everybody in the village? Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, quit rolling. I'm sorry, I'm used to hitting X to do things. You're not a very nice person, are you, echoing voice? Oh, lap lampshade hanging. Uh, raiding and visiting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Turn this village full of God's maidens into a witch's withered playground. Can't wait to look upon their frustrated, depressed faces. <laughs> They're not real people. Okay, let's visit them. A nagging mom is the owner. And I'll get some weed gum. But I'm gonna visit first. Ow. Fine. You know what? Screw you. <laughs> you were able to dominate. That'll do, Hundred Knight. Now, keep it up and. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. What do you got to say? If I go back in here again, you're gonna kick me out again, probably. Oh. Okay. Busy. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. We're kind of on a time limit here. I said I was only gonna play for about an hour. It's already been like half an hour. We're just gonna hurry up and get to the tutorial here. Can. Can. No. Can't kill the villagers. Don't be rude now. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. I don't know, I think three houses would have been plenty. I think any more than that is kind of dragging this on a little longer than it needs to go. Although the Hundred Knight makes cute little noises, doesn't he? Today started out so well.
I guess there's more houses. Uh, let's see. Eep. Today is special! Hey, cookies! Cool! That made going into that house all the worthwhile. We walked away with some cookies. Is that all the houses? That wasn't half bad. You put on a decent enough show. We did such a good job that guy in the top left corner is just kind of randomly walking into a bush. Is that the lizard? Yes, it is. That thing again. A damn pest, huh? That What? Is this a distortion? We shouldn't spend too much more time here. The way out will close. Run! Okay, which way is the exit? Oh, okay, we're gonna do the teleport thing again. Run! Slice! 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 Oh, wow, these things have a lot of HP. Where'd the other one go? Oh, there it is. I'm telling running in this game is very similar to Wild Arms. What's going on here? Uh, should we save the little girl? Aw, more teleporting. Can, can we can we do a boss fight or something now? Something to cap off this uh How to do that? Ha ha! Okay, so X will roll, and then you can attack out of a roll. Okay. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, is this where we finally confront him? Music in this game is really good so far. Well, that's pretty good boss music. Okay. Like how he's looking at him, turn his head. That's pretty cool. Boss encounters. Uh, wait, at the end of an area, have plenty of health. Okay. Oh, that's pretty neat. It tells you it there's a bar that basically tells you when the boss is vul most vulnerable.
Aha! Not too hard. Of course, I'm probably invincible at this point. So, I mean, you know, we'll just pretend like I did something impressive there. Just as I thought, you struggle to make your own decision. I figured you wouldn't be able to handle such a burden this early. Make your escape before it regenerates. Go! Over that way. Make it over there, and I'll do something. What are you going to do? Push him into the distortion thingy? There's no time for fear. <laughs> was, was that a fist? That was kind of cool. I read that in the original Japanese version, her name was Metallica, but they had to change it because, we you don't know, for obvious reasons. This concludes the tutorial. Giga Cals. Attacking and dashing... Okay. Uh So basically, uh what happens from what I'm reading here is this game's got a roguelike component to where you go out and if you die, you lose your Okay. You have to go back to your home base to to make permanent growth. Study while you watch. Wow, the music in this game is really good so far. I like that violin. Far different from our own, there exists a place called Medea. There, in a forest wedged between two nations, where no human or animal dares to tread. Rather, where they cannot tread, lives a lone witch in the swamp of Nibblehenna. Okay. This witch conducts strange experiments day in and day out, and is feared as the Swamp Witch. None have seen her, and all keep their distance. The reason for this is because the witch cannot leave her precious swamp. The swamp lies deep in the forest called Woods, where <laughs> the gods' persecution took place in days The Woods? Long really? Days. Now, that land is protected by the peaceful forest witch. One day, long ago, the animals felt a darkness from within the swamp and began to scatter. Wow, this is a lot of exposition. Thank you. This was a sign of the grand incident to come. That green spot right there must be the, uh, swamp. If you are lost, follow the icon on the mini-map on the top right screen. Sometimes there are key items, such as a house's family treasure, that needs to collecting to progress the game. Okay. Get. Get what? Hey. And I'm awake. 
Thank you. Have you awoken, Sir Hundred Knight? Let us rejoice. You are the first being in 113 years to have visited our small, humble swamp. Or, to be more specific, the very first visitor to our abode. Thank you. Okay. Ah, oh, my apologies. An introduction is in order. I am called Arlecchino. Arlecchino, okay. I serve the Swamp Witch, Master Leah, as her butler and lookout. I am faithful and reliable. Dumbass. The name's not Leah. It's Metalia. Metalia. How many times do I gotta say it? Normally, I dismantle you, grind you up, and use you as fertilizer for my swamp. But I'm in a good mood today. Oh, I like how the lips move. Pretend I didn't hear that. I'll also pretend like I didn't hear you call my swamp small. Ah, you heard me, did you? I am pleased to know that your ears are healthy and functional. Butler guy's kind of got a smart mouth on him, doesn't he? Demon, the hundred knight, the appearance of a burning phoenix, the size of a mountain, thirteen eyes gazing in all directions, and four arms of immense strength. Horsemen flee in terror as its wings shift the very winds. A voice that causes earthquakes. Yeah, I, I don't think that's describing the hundred knight. Wait, what? were way more than an exaggeration. However, the great witch Utica's witch doctrine stated as much. Uh -huh. I guess this isn't a mistake then. Okay. This concludes the legendary demon summoning ceremony. It's not over yet, Arlecchino. <laughs> the final step is to chain its existence to this world. I understand and obey. I shall prepare some sloth. I shall prepare you a meal. Yes, indeed. I shall do all in my power to prepare a delicious meal for you. No need for that. Okay. You still got that gum you picked up the other day? Yes, I have it right here. Something disgusting like gum found on the ground has its uses. Here, eat it. Uh. That Sir Hundred Knight is too dumb to understand the concept of fine dining. But still, perhaps this is taking it a bit far. A piece of already been chewed gum. Unless it is a stray dog, I don't. <laughs> Okay then. A hundred knights intelligence has gained a level. They can now disagree. And now he's upset. <laughs> you fed me IABC gum. Maybe you can't hold a conversation worth a damn, but at least your spirit is rising. What? You mad or something? Then show off your attitude. You can't talk. So you have to make your presence known by what you do. Now, if you're mad because I fed you junk, show it through your attitude. Okay, uh... Thank you? The hell? Are you being a brat on purpose? <laughs> That's kind of amusing. Maybe I'll let it slide this time. Oh, her hat's gone. Does she have cat ears? That would be very, very anime if she had cat ears. Now all that remains is the contract ceremony, correct? She looks a lot like that little girl that was being choked. I'm willing to bet that it is her. No, the contract's been made. Well, Q, I took something important from it before it left that other world. Oh. Ah, I see. Maybe she took the crotch fire.
like I said, that butler guy's got a mouth on him. <laughs> Maybe we'll do, like, the first short level before we go on. Why are you electrocuting me? What did I do? Oh. I'm gonna tell you something important. Listen up, Hundred Knight. This is the contract. The burning flame is fueled by magic. You've become securely planted in this world. But without my magic, you'll get stuck in some sort of purgatory. Without the flame, you won't be able to stay here. But you won't be able to go back home. Ever. As long as that flame is burning, you're free to move about as you wish. Just make sure you do everything I want you to do before it burns out. That way, the contract will be fulfilled and you can go home. Well, cute. <laughs> but first, a test. Okay. Proof that you are, in fact, the legendary Hundred Knight. She's got some uh, Momo braids going on from the back of her head. Okay. I didn't understand that tip, but okay. Look, Hundred Knight. Look upon my awe inspiring swamp. The lovely scent of swamp muck in the morning. Treasure trove of mold with the raunchy odor of a hundred year old rotting buoy cheese and this perfect suffocating humidity. It's so nice, isn't it? Getting a whiff of this energizes me from head to toe. I wish to drown the world in such swampy glory. That's my ultimate wish. Okay. I wish to drown this pitiable world under a wave of swamp mud. That is my destiny. Once the sewer we call this world overflows with swamp mud, your deed is done, and you will be set free. <laughs> In other words, your duty is to coat the world with swamps. Did you understand all of that, Sir Hundred Knight? No, because that doesn't make sense. Kills all manner of living things. It's a poisonous, uh, a safe enemy. Yes. Well, if she's a swamp witch, maybe when she casts spells, it it draws her she draws her powers from the swamp, so maybe it drains when she I don't know. That's probably stupid. Okay. Allow me to intercede. Pillars are types of organic pillars that exist all over the world. I have no idea who made this, but the pillar of temperance is this particular one's official name. Destroying that shall be your test. Doesn't sound too hard, does it? I mean, for the legendary hundred knight. I'm a midget in a helmet. Leave me alone. Well, they're very, very, um, encouraging, aren't they? What do we got going on here? Act 1, Chapter 1. The 
One of the things I really like about the uh, the NIS games, the the American Nipponichi games, the the ones they bring out, is how they really, really, really do a good job with the voice acting. And <laughs> she does not step foot on Swampless land. Due to this, she's not very knowledgeable about the area, so I will provide my personal map. It is merely a This guy's got a mouth on him, doesn't it? Pillar is listed on it. I believe it may prove helpful. It's acquired a map. Cool. The sinful spear and the shoddy hammer. Okay. Right. Okay, how do you go and equip? A special weapon. Huh. Get the hammer on. Okay. Oh, okay. A mana manania? I guess that's like, maybe it's kind of like a fairy? Yeah, I'll go ahead and save. So let's go. I've got a time limit apparently with that fire. I am really digging the t the music in this game though. It can it actually came with a CD. I might actually listen to some of it. The Woods Way. I can't believe they spelled woods that way. <sighs> On very rare occasions, special monsters called pinatas. Really. The rare golden pinata. Okay. All right, let's go this way. Ooh, a chest. Open. Do I gotta hit it? Yes, I do. Weed, weed gum. S stomach. I guess that's my bag. Do I, do I put things in my stomach? Okay, when you run out of stamina, you just kind of fall on your ass. That makes sense. Okay, all I gotta do is like stab them. Capri flocks. No, I don't. Da -da -da. Okay, so you collect it and you get upgrades, basically. That makes sense. I figured we'd be done with the tutorials, but I suppose that's just the way uh, video games are lately. So let's look around a little bit. I think I'll play to the end of this level and then call it a video. 
do do do. What is this? What do you want, Metalia? Ooh, okay. So that's the pillar. That was a very short level. The pillar of fools, huh? Okay, so a small swamp formed. Okay, so we got small pillars that act as uh, way stations, basically. Okay, they're warp points. Giga cows? I still haven't explained what giga cows are. Is that your HP? I am the legendary creature spoken of in legend. Fanny pack? Does the Hunter Knight have a fanny pack on? Kind of can't really tell. Ha! Antidote. Stomach. Weed gum? Okay. Yo! Come. Back. Hiya! Okay, I have no idea what that does, but okay. Let's just follow the road. I hear uh, that buzzing noise that they said heralds. There's some more anima. They herald pillars. Maybe it's another teleporting pillar. Nice. Okay. Pretty basic game so far, like control wise. You have a dash, and then you got. Uh, although I do like the fact that different weapons, like each weapon only adds one attack to your combo. That's pretty neat. And then, like, you change your combos up by changing weapons. That's. I, I like that. That's actually really, really cool. I like that spear. It's like a 360 degree spin. See, I don't hear the pillar anymore. Did I miss it? Oh. My shoddy hammer leveled up. What is this? Another sinful spear. A rare sinful spear. Now, I'm wondering what that consume is on the uh, thing there. And how do I do that? Okay, see, I hear that buzzing sound again. Yep, there we go. What is this? A loser sword? Okay, let's equip some new stuff here. Let's put that other shoddy spear on. I can't. What? Okay, how do I... Stomach. <laughs> what, can I not take it out until I... Info switch? So, apparently I can't take the weapon out and... 
Maybe maybe it gets put in my inventory when I uh when I go back to the base. Anyway, let's head to the Oh, shoot. I better go this way towards the... Let's see. Better go this way. Bonk. Hammer's amusing. What is that bonus thing? I'm wondering if that uh, little bar that is appearing on the side is what uh, the green orbs fill up. Okay, I can't hurt that thing. So I'm going to leave it alone. What about you? Can I hurt you? Oh, sure. What is this? A rat staff. What is this? Another rat staff. This snail has laser beams. That's actually kind of awesome. Green charm. Alright. Let's keep going towards the pillars. Give me the staff. Okay. I think I may have... Oh, you know what? I think I'm running out of time up there. Thank you, Mr. Butler, sir. Do I only have 45 seconds left there on my... That, I mean, is the, uh, the the number up there in the top left? Is that it, that's going down? I just noticed. Is is that is that my fire? It seemed to go down a little slower when I was fighting monsters. It's a giant freaking caterpillar. I think this is probably a boss. Oh, well, I don't know. That's a nice caterpillar. It's going to show me the pillar. Okay. Is that what you are, giant caterpillar lady? What does it do? It's 
Is this where you tell me to murder it? I didn't think killers had wits, but I think it's clear how we can come to see them. She's going to tell me to murder the caterpillar. Maybe this caterpillar is not as nice as I thought she was. I cannot waste any more time. Well, I, I guess she's not that bad. I mean, what's so impressive? Of course you'd get fat if you ate that many humans. I mean, she hasn't just outright attacked us. So I have to murder. This, this is actually a change of pace for games like this. Generally, you walk into an area and you just get attacked with no warning. In this case, we are the aggressors. The caterpillar is like, oh, well, you know, just had a pleasant conversation with me. And then my boss is like, murder the caterpillar. Della Caterpillar. Did they just bleep that out? That's funny. Okay, let me see. Okay, so I gotta get her when she... Ow. Rolls. Ow. Asshole. Whoop. Okay, so I need to, like, kind of lure her into hitting a corner where she doesn't roll so far. Ow. That's not how you lure them into a cor corner. Well, I mean, that, that does lure them into a corner, but, ow. Letting her run you over is not... Re letting her run you over repeatedly is not the way... Yeah, you know, I, I just like lettering her run me over. It sounds like fun. Give myself a challenge, you know. Okay. Run! Can I... Can I use those items in my stomach? Weed gum. Can... You give up... Apparently, I can't use them. Uh. Okay, let's try in the stomach. Use items. Okay. Huh. Okay, fine. Once again, just thought it'd be cool to let her run me over. But I think I got her number. Okay, I... Okay, I'm not sure what the, the deal is with the, uh... The, uh... 
the, uh, the, the flashes of red I'm getting every once in a while. Okay, I ran out of stamina there. Gotta be careful about that. Oh, she rolled up. And disintegrated. Okay, so apparently that number in the top left corner is your time. Master Facet Wonder Knight. That's what I get. I got a green charm. Oh, okay. Those blue er those blue orbs that I was getting earlier. Okay, I'm willing to bet that that right there is the bonus right here. So, like, every time I earn an orb on the side of the screen, I earn another. Okay, that makes sense. This game has really good music. I like it. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you in half. Well, yeah, actually, I kind of did. Every time she says, that'll do, all I can think of is, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Well, that pillar is a lot more impressive. Wow. <laughs> okay. He just punched it. Okay. It bloomed? <laughs> it bloomed! You released it! It's just as I thought. The pillar was holding the power of the swamp inside of it. Of course. My intuition was right. Wow, this is so much magic power. And the swamp mud is spreading far and wide. Nice. This game's pretty fun, I like it. She's going to murder the caterpillar. Right now. Burn and die in agony. Wow. Go against the swamp witch Metallia, and this is what happens. Take note on your way to Hades. No, I know where that voice is from. I know where I recognize it from. That is Jinx from League of Legends. That's been bothering me this entire time. Every time she speaks, I'm sitting there going, Is that Etna? Is that why I recognize it? No, that is Jinx. I don't know, have you ever actually drove on Rainbow Road? It's a terrible, terrible, terrible road. There's no walls or anything. I hate racing on Rainbow Road. <laughs> the butler did it.
Oh, she's still alive. Stop it. What are you doing? Is this your handiwork? What do we have here? Such cruelty. You're one of them. Shh. Quiet now. Lena, I never thought I'd see the day you'd leave the swamp and release this killer, no less. Who is that? <laughs> she finally appeared. The root of all evil. The ugly forest witch monk. How do you like this? I finally made it to the outside world. It's been quite a while, Leo. I thought you would go inside me. But now you destroy a pillar. Unbelievable. We didn't really destroy it. It's a giant flower. We just punched it and made it bloom. Leah. It's Metallia, you stupid fucking bitch. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm gonna look this up and see if that is Jinx, cause that. Oh yeah, like you're any better. I never dreamed the day'd come when you'd grade my damn vocabulary. Ought to discard the idea of journeying beyond your swampy confines. And the pillars are not what you think they are. Get up and go back to your swamp. As long as I live, your dream to leave the swamp will never come true. That in mind. If a swamp's nearby, there's no reason for me to hesitate just because of you. If that's how you wish to do things, I would rather avoid using force to solve the problem, but if I must. Okay, a tree just popped up. Shall not pass. Master, it is dangerous here. Perhaps we should retreat for now. The great elder tree is the ruler and sage of the entire forest. To fight it in its own habitat is <laughs> whatever. Burn! I suppose that's one way to take care of a giant fucking tree. It would appear the tree has been burnt alive. Theoretically. <laughs> one thousand years of history turned to a crisp so easily. What a shame. Hey, hundred nuts. Do you remember the stench that foolish whore let off? Uh wow, the language in this game is really, really, really extreme. Mom. 
What's an apex? Is that like the broom from the Wicked Witch of the West? Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. Thank you for explaining that, game. That's actually really nice of you. So anyway, I think I'm going to stop here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, talk a bit about this game so far. I like it. It uh, seems like it would be lots of fun to play. It's a uh, nifty little action RPG. I haven't really done anything in it, but I mean, that's kind of the fault of a lot of games lately. They uh, have incredibly long introductions. <laughs> But I had some fun doing this, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to do it again uh, next week. So I'm planning on doing this. I'm going to try and do one every Sunday until I either run out of games or whatever. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.